Hi everyone, this is Laura from Traverse Bay Crochet and today we're going to be making this really cute and easy simple crochet cup cozy. Um, this cozy fits a 16 ounce cup perfectly. This is just a cup that I, I bought a bunch of these on Amazon and I can post the link to that in the description as well as the link to the written pattern on my blog. Um, so this is just a very fun and quick project, great to give as gifts or to have for yourself. I made my Mama Bear in pink, and then today I'm going to be making it into the blue. And these are just some felties that I found um, that I glued on to the front of them. And you can also use an iron-on applique or something fun, or just leave it plain. So we'll go ahead and get started. So for this project, you're going to need some worsted weight yarn. Um, this is a size four yarn. This is, I love this yarn uh, in turquoise. I purchased it at Hobby Lobby. And you'll also need a size I 5.5 millimeter crochet hook. All right, so let's go ahead and get started. So to get started, we're going to chain 24. And we're going to slip stitch in our first chain to join. And chain two. And now we're going to double crochet into each chain all the way around. Now we're going to slip stitch in our first stitch there to join, chain two, and we're going to double crochet again into each stitch around. This is just a super easy basic pattern that will take you maybe 20-30 minutes then you have a cute cup cozy to take with you
and we're going to slip stitch to join chain two and we're going to just keep working like this for the next four rows um, if you would like your cozy to cover the entire cup you can do five more rows for a total of seven I'm sorry yeah seven rows and a total of six rows if you want it to fit just like this okay so I'm gonna go ahead and do that and I will meet you right back so I just finished my six rows and we're going to chain one and now we're going to do the reverse single crochet or also known as the crab stitch and we're just going to be working from left to right instead of from right to left when we single crochet in each stitch around so we'll go behind our, uh, the back there and pull up our stitch yarn over and pull through again go right behind that stitch insert your hook yarn over and pull through so we're just working a single crochet as you normally would but we're doing it backwards just in the opposite direction so it's super simple when you get the hang of it you can just keep going and it just makes this really cool kind of texture to finish off projects so I use this stitch a decent amount of time because I just think it is really pretty so keep working in this way and each stitch around Okay, I like to work up to right where the that first really gets started there, so it looks pretty nice and even to me. And then we're going to fasten this off. Okay, turn your project over, and we're going to just pick up a stitch anywhere along here on the bottom. I'm just going to start where our chain two, like at our seam there, and chain one. And now we're going to do the same thing again into each of the foundation chains around. We're going to do our crab stitch. So just single crochet in each stitch behind. Okay, so now we're going to go ahead and fasten that off and, um, and then go ahead and just weave in all your ends and I'll meet you right back. And there you have your simple crochet cup cozy and if you want to add something to the front of it you can get your hot glue ready and then just glue the back of your felty if you ha have one of those and then press down for about 20 seconds or so making sure not to touch any of the glue and they'll stay on great yep and then you can also you know put something in the middle so you don't accidentally glue your piece together so that's probably a good idea 
Um, and then if you're going to do any iron-ons, I would lay your iron-on down, put your iron-on to a cotton setting, and then lay a dish cloth or something over top of it, and then press down and hold for about 20-30 seconds, and you should be all good to go. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this pattern. I will post the link to the written pattern in the description, and please like and subscribe to my channel for more free patterns, and have a great day!